friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india let us observe management of this mature senile cataract we can see the brown tinge of the nucleus so the cataract is going to be quite hard the incisions are made the main incision and two side ports and then i'm going to stain the anterior capsule with tripan blue dye i usually do this underneath an air bubble by the way this is a totally unedited recording and you are going to watch each and every step of the surgery this is a bit of adrenaline I usually wash the dye. It looks clean. And now I inject 2% SPMC in the anterior chamber. SPMC is applied over the corneal epithelium it improves visibility because of peribulbar block the eyeball is tilted to the right side a bit this is capsulorexis with the help of this uterator forceps since the nucleus is quite hard i'm going to do a large rexis in hard cataracts always aim for a 6 mm axis or at least 5.5 mm axis stress on the jonule will be much less prolapsing the fragments bringing the fragments at the center will be easier and many other advantages will be there if we do a large axis the nucleus has been mobilized visco has been injected in the anterior chamber and now the fecal needle goes in with its bevel down some superficial lens matter is removed and we can see the brown nucleus and this kind of nucleus doesn't want to get cracked so this is the first job we can see this white thing that is cortex on the other side of the nucleus it is rotated 180 degree and the nucleus divided into two pieces this heminucleus is quite large larger than the other heminucleus and i find that the fibers are resisting to be divided the pieces though it is separated at the periphery near the equator at the center they are joined to each other so what to do now i go behind this piece and with the blunt chopper i tint it up the joining part of the fragments applied ultrasonic energy at that area and the pieces get separated now the pieces are emulsified watch it here again the peripheral part is cracked 
but the central part is not. Tilt it and apply energy on the fibrous bands that join leathery bands that join the fragments here. And as I apply ultrasonic energy there, the pieces get separated. Ultrasonic energy used in this case is 80 percent, flow rate is 40 and vacuum is 400 millimeter of mercury. And during emulsification of the last piece, the parameters are reduced a bit. And it is done. And now is the time to remove the cortex. I usually inject a bit of visco so that as I start aspirating the cortex, maintenance of the chamber is easy. See this white cortex. Remove the cortex from the upper part going through the 8 o'clock side port and it is done. And this is hydro implantation of a single piece monofocal intraocular lens. The lens is gone in the capsular bag. Now see what happens. As I rotate the lens, I was going to finish the case hydrating the side ports. Now as I give a last lavage, suddenly this thing comes out. And this is a hard nuclear piece. And it will not come out through the main wound. I have to enlarge the main wound. Another way is I don't enlarge the main wound. I inject visco. And emulsify this nuclear piece with the FECO handpiece. So here it goes. Use little bit of ultrasonic energy and emulsify this piece. So it is done. And now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. The antechamber is formed very nicely. There are some cortex. Wanted to remove that. Now as I use a side port, it is going to leak. So I have to hydrate corneal stroma again. And form the entry chamber nicely. Yes, there is some cortex there. try to remove that 
perform the antechamber very nicely. Check the wounds, there should not be any leakage from any side. Apply a few drops of moxie and conclude the case. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills.